My name is Evangelist Mrs. Joyce Eyomdo of the House of God for All Nation Ministry. I'm Evangelist in charge of the house. Our vision stroke mission statements are one, salvation is the focus. Two, we have to prepare souls for rapture. Three, Christ Jesus is the founder of the house, is the foundation, is the head and the rock of ages. The Holy Spirit is the engine room of the house. He is the center and the heart of the house. So everybody in the house must be baptized by the power of the Holy Spirit to do exploits. The theme of the gospel you are going to hear now is God first. The topic is titled Worry. What shall I eat? What shall I drink? What shall I clothe? That is not all that matters. A life of obedience, faith, and trust to God is the most important thing. Food, money, pleasure, power, security is secondary thing. The primary thing is faith, obedience, Trust, compassion, mercy, love for others, love of neighbor and other people. That is the primary thing. And to receive Christ Jesus as your Lord and Savior and repent from sin and receive Him. Because heaven is closer to you and the kingdom of heaven is at hand we have to prepare souls for rapture the house is sent to prepare to shepherd the souls for rapture that should signal something into your ears that the second coming is near Why we are declaring this message to the world is that heaven has started sealing, sealing the believers with the blood of Jesus, has started separating good and the lamb for recording, to record the name that of those that received Jesus as their Lord into the book of life because we have heard that the book will be open. The book of life will be open. And 666 is on the way. And before 666, Jesus Christ will rapture the believers. He will rapture them. The believers will not suffer from 666. Only the unbelievers will suffer. So it is better for all to get ready, get prepared, whatever you may dream, not to eat alone. Matthew 4, 4, Christ has made us to know that we shall not eat by bread alone. Not every time you eat in the morning, eat every time, no time you rest, continue eating. Philip I made us to know, Philippians 3, 19 made us to know, that our belly was 
one created for food, neither food was created for belly. Don't make your belly your God. Make, not let, let your glory be your shame. Let God be your master. Don't allow food to be your master. Don't allow money to be your master. All those things are useless. They are counterfeit. They cannot help. Money will not help you. Money will not deliver you. What will deliver you is faith in God. Believing in the word of God. And receiving Christ Jesus as your Lord and Savior. So it's expecting all should repent from sin and receive him and receive atonement in his blood. He's baking. He's baking everybody. He's willing that no sinner should die unrepenting. It's not, it's not place for any man to die without repenting. Because immediately you die without repenting, judgment and setting for you. And you will regret, you will try to repent. There will be no repentance in the grave. Only here, while we are here on earth, repentance is abundant, salvation is abundant, deliverance is abundant, freedom is abundant for all who receive Christ Jesus. So, the time is short. There is no need to thinking of food, thinking to eat and be full. So now you have to prepare. You have to get ready and receive the Lord Jesus. This is the time to prepare. The kingdom of God is not being an, 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 an meat. His holiness, righteousness, peace, joy in the Holy Ghost. You shall not eat my bread alone. You must eat the word, the word of God that will endure forever. Food will not endure forever. You eat food now, you long for another one, you defecate it and long for another one. No satisfaction. A Christologist after one say, all the rivers that run to the ocean, the ocean is not full. All what the eye see, the eye does not stop seeing. All what the ears hear, the ear does not stop hearing. He says, there is nothing new in the world. All what you see now, it has already been, and it will be, still be. So there is no need, nothing for all these things, accommodating, you want to die for toys. You love food to the extent of worshipping food, to the extent of dying for food. You drink from morning to evening, you smoke from morning to evening, you eat from morning to evening. What is the difference? No difference. You still long for more. So, no satisfaction. Only Christ will satisfy you when you believe in Him and accept Him. He will direct your way. He will guide you your way. He will protect you. He will secure you. He will give you fresh unction. He will give you wisdom, the needed wisdom for you to be able to live in a war. And at the end, He will come and take you where He is. It's glorious. So, He is telling us to come and blow trumpet to the wall to turn from sin, to turn from wickedness unto God and receive peace, receive joy, receive freedom. Salvation is to reveal the love of God upon the unbelievers, to reveal his compassion. And was mentioned on the cross of Galvary. He, he was crucified on the cross for shedding his blood for, for our remission, for our forgiveness. And he did that. When you receive him, he will forgive you. He will cleanse the sting of sin in your life. And you will be saved, you will be delivered. Instead of worry, worry is disastrous, worry is evil. And it has ill effect, negative effect. If you worry, you are praying for hypertension. Because when you go to hospital and when you are test, tested, if you discover it's hypertension, the first thing doctor will tell you, will ask you, why do you worry? Because they know that is 
the trait of hypertension, number one, number one evil that brings hypertension, worry. Worry does not help. It's harmful. It gives more harm than help. So there's no need to worry. Christ is warning us not to worry. You go to the hospital, don't worry. What do you think? Stop. That's what the advice doctors will tell you. And if you refuse to stop, that sickness may put your head into the grave. If you don't stop worrying. So worry is satanic, it's evil, it's demonic. It demoralizes people. It paralyzes feeling. It paralyzes peace. It's weakened, weakened spirit. It doesn't give you access to peace. It doesn't allow you to prosper. It doesn't allow you to grow. It stagnates progress. It twists efforts. It hinders interest. Kill interest. So never you worry. This is not the time to worry. It's time to get ready. It's time to get prepared for a soon coming king. He's taking his children to where he is. After this is rapture. We are sent to prepare people for rapture. Make yourself available. He's coming to rapture you. So don't harden your heart. Don't harden your heart. Those things you see being uh, glorious is not glorious. Those things you are seeing shining is not shining. It's elusive. It's illusion. It's fake. It's lies. It's deceit. Only in the hand of Christ Jesus that you will have peace, you have joy, you are free from evil work. You are free from oppression. You are free from poverty. Only Christ alone will deliver you from this thing. So you are warned to receive Christ Jesus as your Lord and Savior. And everything in your life will be made all right. There will be no need for you to suffer. Because Christ in you, the hope of glory. Christ in you, the hope of riches, the hope of wealth, the hope of peace, the hope of good health, the hope of breakthrough. When you have Christ, you have the light of God, He will give you the wisdom, the knowledge, the understanding, the unction, the fresh understanding, the fresh wisdom to grow, the fresh wisdom to, to live happily, than uh, uh, to grow with worry. Don't want to see before you believe. That day will be terrible. Don't want to have a glimpse of what will happen that day. You better repent. Everybody that is dead, if we didn't receive Christ, what they will regret was that, oh, why, why didn't I repent instead? But the time was late. It's already late. When anybody is off this earth, judgment has set in. There, no compassion, no mercy, no pardon. It's judgment. Judgment to hellfire. So it's good we all repent now. If all the people in the world repent from sin, there will be no judgment. There will be no judgment. It's eternal life for all. In the mighty name of Jesus. So those that are still in darkness, they are deceived by Satan. When you happen to die, Satan will tell you, I deceived you. I didn't have anything to, say, to give you. I didn't want to die here in the, in the, in the, in the deep alone. Come and die with me because you didn't want to believe God. So Christ is expecting all should come to his knowledge. All should come to his freedom. Don't harden your heart. The kingdom of God is at hand. Heaven is nearer to everybody. For everybody to receive Christ. Receive Christ and carry him in your heart. Carry the kingdom in your heart. Anywhere you go, get ready. Get prepared for the time is short. Be careful for nothing. Worry for nothing. Worry will not help you. He's helpful and helpful. Worry he does. He's frustrated. He's demoralized. He's paralyzed. So don't instead 
to worry. Pray, repent, and receive Christ. And He will wash you, cleanse you, and transform your life. And you have joy, have happiness, that in the kingdom of, of darkness, where there is no peace, where there is no joy, with Christ, you, uh, you walk in the light, your eyes will be open, and you walk in the Spirit of God, your ears will be open, and you hear good things, you will not hear evil again. You will see good things, you will not see evil again. Only in the darkness that uh, 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 you will see evil. In the kingdom of Christ Jesus, His joy is peace. People are after food. Food. And then, uh, uh, Philip 5, chapter. Uh, 3 verse 19 says, their belly is their God, and their glory is their shame. People are after their belly, they think that food was made for belly. No! There are times you can keep yourself and pray and fast to increase your spirit. Not every time you feed, you feed, you feed till your belly penetrates. You have to, there must be a time you sit down and praise God and worship God. For his love, for his mercy, for his compassion, for his provision, for protecting your life, securing your life, securing even your family. There are times you should do that. Not every time asking, asking for food, give me this, give me that. So, God is expecting honor, is expecting appreciation from us instead of worry. Some people are already filled, some people are already full. They are not satisfied. They are not thankful. They still ask. They still fight. They still worry. Till violence come. Destruction come. Death come. Boko Haram come. Swatling come. No peace. No peace in the state. Because they are not satisfied. They don't want to see other people eating. They don't want to see other people climbing to where they are. They want other people to be at the grass, at the bottom, and worship them. That is what they like. But it can never be so. They are already enjoying. And yet they are not happy. They are not grateful. They are not thankful to God. They still want more. They want more. God give me. God give me. When they have this, they will ask another one. When they have this, they will ask another one. They are not satisfied. So God is not happy. That is why you see in the war, earthquake, hellfire, drought, flood, war, pestilence, terrorism, because of lack of satisfaction on earth, because of lack of appreciation on thankfulness. People are not thankful, especially people at the head. They are not thankful to God. That's why God is sending this thing to see whether they will repent. And if they fail to repent that day, that day will be horrible for them. They will run to the sea. The sea will say, no, let me mind my own. They will not cover them. They will run to the trees under the shade of the tree. The tree will expose them. That's what the Bible is saying. So they don't wait till that day. Now, Heaven is closer to us. God is expecting all. We are blowing trumpet to all in the world to get repent and receive God as their Lord and Savior. We are being sent to blow trumpet to declare the message to all that Christ Jesus is expecting all. He is before you. Open your hearts for him. To enter in and save you and deliver you. He's ready to deliver you. Do not want to till you perish. He's not willing that you perish. He's not willing that you be consumed by hellfire. God took time to great man. So he's expecting their souls. So give him your soul. He's your greater, he's your Lord, he's your savior, he's your provider, he's your redeemer, he's your controller. Is in charge of your life, is reigning in your life, so is expecting your soul. So don't harden your heart, harden not your heart. Receive him, receive him. He's waiting for you, he's expecting, 
you. So do that and be saved. He is ready to save you. So repent, receive the word. The one who sets you free. The one who work miracle in your life. The word is power. God honor his word more than even his name. And his word is settling in heaven. Claim this deliverance. Claim this freedom. You will have freedom. You will not be in bondage again. You will not be a, a, a slavery for Satan again. You will not be tools for Satan to use again. Don't allow yourself to be used by Satan. Receive Christ Jesus and walk in the light of God. Do not walk in darkness. Have freedom in the hand of Jesus Christ and is ready to save all. Is ready to deliver all. So he's expecting is expecting everybody made the world from the leaders of the world. It's God that kept them there. They should give him total loyalty. They should honor him. They should have the fear of God. Do not be like Nebuchadnezzar. That when God exalted him, he now saw himself to be the, 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 the idol of that nation. And he began to say they should worship him. They will worship him like God. And God gave him the heart of beast for him to be, to, to be maddened and cast him into the forest to live with the beast. Because when you begin to see yourself as a, 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 an idol for people to worship, God will remove that, that power from you. And you begin you become shameful. You become shameful. As he did to Saul, he took away the Spirit of God from him because he was stubborn and replaced by madness and anointed David to take over from him. So that's the, the, the thing. We must humble ourselves. It's God that keeps people, whatever you are in the world, it's God that gives you, God is expecting your appreciation, is expecting your thank. Don't just feel that you are the only person honored, the only person tefer, and you see other people as they are sinners. Because you are rich, you see your, you see your wealth to be, to be a blessing of God. It's not a blessing of God. It's not a blessing of God. You are to help other people out there. You are to help other people with what you have. You should not accommodate and siphon money, uh, uh, spread uh, 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 a mess, money, to be eaten alone and accommodate, well, whereas other people are there suffering. Majority are there suffering. They don't have work, they don't have food, they don't have what to eat, they don't have help, and you are accommodating money for nothing after you die and let it there. God is not happy with all this uh, selfishness in the war. You squander the, 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 the state the economy and now there is, there is economic meltdown in the war. The few people are enjoying, the rest are crying and nobody cares. Nobody cares to say what is happening with other people because they have uh, enough to eat some closely and they feel other people are eating. They don't care to check what is happening there is unemployment there and there. People are coming out from university, no work, and they are doing uh, 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 what they are not supposed to do. You see them carrying gloves. And nobody gets to say what is happening. They are squandering the, the money. They are siphoning the money. Money laundry here and there. But others, majority, are suffering. They are crying. They are sorrowful. Nobody cares to help. God is not happy. No, no nation is poor. God has blessed every nation and has provided enough for every nation. It's because of self-centeredness of many people, that, of those that have already met it. They don't want other people, they, they are happy to see people working like mad people. They don't have blood to wear, they don't have food to eat. And they don't care to help. They are happy and see themselves as team gods. 
and want them to come and worship. When it is time of uh, election, these people will be their thoughts, carry guns, carry this and that. That is the only way they will look for them. When they have, uh, have eaten food and sit on them and wait, they don't care for these people. Just to carry them and destroy. So God is expecting. He doesn't, no, no, no amount of sin is unpardonable. Whatever you see yourself that you've done in a wicked way, come unto Jesus Christ. Come and acknowledge your sin. Confess it and reject it, forsake it. It's ready, it's ever ready to forgive you in the mighty name of Jesus. So, we are here. Our, our duty is to blow trumpets for the whole world. God is expecting the whole world because the whole world was created for, by God. And God took time to create them in his image and expecting all to come unto repentance and inherit the kingdom of heaven. Don't harden your heart. Harden not your heart. The kingdom of God is at hand. So receive, receive the kingdom and walk in their lives. Your ears will be open and you hear heavenly. Your hearts will be open and you, and you receive him in the mighty name of Jesus. In the victorious name of Jesus. And that expecting any wherever you were standing, wherever you were standing, wherever you were, repeat after me now and say, Lord Jesus, I have acknowledged my sin and confessed it to you that I am a sinner and I have forsaken it. I will not go back to sin again. I know that you were crucified on the cross of Galvary and you shed your blood for my cleansing. Cleanse me with your blood and I will be whole. Oh Lord, take me as your son. In the mighty name of Jesus, you are healed, you are blessed, you are cleansed in the blood of Jesus. Be saved in the blood of Jesus Christ. Amen.